This evening, we get an inside look at a tool the Minnesota State Patrol says is helping them investigate crashes faster and better than ever before. The agency first started using drones to reconstruct crashes in 2020. Recently, it increased the number of drones to 24 throughout the state. Adam Duxter shows us why troopers say they're a game changer. When it comes to a car crash, a picture really is worth 1,000 words. Very typical scene where you'll see skid marks, you'll see the crashed vehicle, you'll see the victim and the bicycle. And when the impact is over, it's the job of troopers with the Minnesota State Patrol. So it's really subtle, but we'll look at the, the rocks here. Yeah. See that? To use evidence left behind to paint one. That's definitely from our tire. Which can be challenging and time consuming. Investigations from fatal or near fatal car accidents could leave roads closed for hours. But troopers say having an eye in the sky could change that. We're pushing the envelope when it comes to technology and supporting our troopers by having the best technology possible. When it comes to investigating and reconstructing crashes like this one, the State Patrol says using a drone can not only be more efficient, but also more accurate, which gives them a better chance of hitting a better report over to a prosecutor. The investment in technology allows us to process a scene in just a couple of minutes versus sometimes a couple of hours. So the advantage is we get the road open sooner. This demonstration, not just for show. Here, so our skid marks, the camera is very good. But a way to train troopers unfamiliar with the drones, the art of retelling a thousand word story. Every single one of those dots is, is a photo that the drone took. By putting the picture back together. A big part of our job is figuring out what happened and why it happened so we can help the people through it. In Golden Valley, Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. In just two minutes, drones can take nearly 60 high resolution photos. Troopers can use those images to determine the speed a car was going and when it began to stop.